Can she match the fastest time of Henkel at 3.45? No, she can't, but not so far outside. 9.1 seconds, a steady start from Loot. Peter Semerenko, the first of two twins starting today. Well, the snow is starting, and although uh, it won't affect the spectators, uh, I'm just wondering if it gets any heavier it may disadvantage those who start later on. And I think that's probably why the favourites all decided to go into groups one and two. Russians favouring groups two and three, uh, maybe thinking that the snow's not going to be that heavy. And they wanted the colder evening weather to uh, just harden up the tracks a little. Henkel looking as relaxed as ever. Good long glide from... Henkel just settling down, but she certainly hasn't uh, taken her foot off the accelerator too much as she comes in to shoot. Obviously uh, has got a breath back. It's a tough course here in Osterson, but you do get uh, roughly 200 metres of easy skiing into the shooting arena. Goes for the lane where she zeroed her weapon. That uh, is fairly common practice. Probably also trying to avoid laid one, just in case there are any wind rotors that might affect the aim. It's fast, it's accurate, it's just what Musigang will have wanted. Henkel comes out, 7.45 when she leaves the mat. We'll uh, just look for the time. Obviously, depending on which uh, lane they go in, it takes uh, different amounts of time to reach the timing wand. But she was on lane three, and it's taken her roughly almost exactly 15 seconds to uh, get from the mat to the timing one. So we can use that as a reference later on. Henkel sets the mark, and uh, don't be surprised if that stands right the way throughout the race. Having said that, uh, I should just point out that all the Germans just slightly below par uh, on the individual race, Magdalena Neuner included. Neuner, if she's uh, found a little bit of form over the last 48 hours, then she is certainly a danger. And she had so much success last year, two sprint wins to her name, and of course claimed the crown on the last race of the season. Neupikova just settling. Number two is Letla of Estonia, whose uh, job really is just to clear all the targets. Don't wor worry too much about the clock. Look how little movement of Neupikova's head during the reloading process. Great drills, great accuracy, and Neupikova showing how it should be done. Not the fastest shoot ever, but it was good enough. And that is going to put her into second place for now. Henkel, 7.59. My goodness, she's flying. Lou of China, how is she getting on? Started 30 seconds behind Neupikova and is going to be uh, a little closer to that leading time, but still some way outside. Henkel has blasted round the first loop and he's going to have a gap uh, of at least 20 seconds, uh, if not more. Andrea Marley preparing for her first shoot. She'll take her time. Uh, as I mentioned, she missed eight out of 20 in the individual which uh, well that's club standard really a little bit of wind it has to be said
That's a much better start for Mali. Took her time. I think uh, that was probably the coach's orders. Don't worry about the fact that it's a sprint race. Just make sure of the targets. Get some confidence before the season goes any further. If she'd missed another eight today, then uh, her, her mind would have started playing games. And I don't think we would have seen too many good results before Christmas. But that's uh, a, a mature approach. Let's hope she can do the same in the stand in roughly eight and a half minutes time. Beck preparing for shoot number one. Now, this should be a fairly standard procedure. Working left to right. One breath in between each. Fantastic. Absolutely superb. Beck just showing uh, what uh, that she hasn't lost any of her skills. It's her shooting that's really won her so much success over the years. The winner of the overall World Cup in 2003 is not going to take top spot, but she's going to move into second ahead of Dong of China and Germany on their normal form. They have one and two in the early stages. One of these Svensson. Slow approach. Sweden enjoying a few hits from uh, Anna Maria Nielsen, but I think uh, that, oh, that sounded like two very, very solid hits. I think the last two have gone wide for Bonavie Svensson. Can't quite check the target from here. From, uh, I should say, from uh, the Swede Nielsen. Bonavie Svensson just starting now and uh, already has one miss. And the second. The last one goes down, but uh, that's a damaging shoot for Bonavi Svensson. And uh, a little glance over her shoulder at the coach who is in the scoping range just to see if there's any explanation. He's not allowed to pass any information to the athlete. He has to radio it to the rest of the team out on the tracks who can then pass any necessary sighting adjustments to the athlete. Fostenko. Nothing wrong with that from Kvostenko. Probably like to be uh, another five or six seconds nearer the leaders. But certainly uh, has given herself a chance at finishing in the top three should she clear all five in the stand. Vita Semerenko. She's finished in fourth place and with five out of five and a very good time indeed. This is exciting stuff for Semerenko. The Ukrainian is flying. She's going to move into second place ahead of Martina Beck and possibly a podium coming her way. Back on the start line, and it is Tora Berger of Norway who had such a wonderful World Championships here. Three times, agonizingly, she finished in fourth place until finally she got a medal, a silver in the pursuit. And that was, uh, for me, the race of the championships, that duel with Magdalena Neuner, where Berger, who was by far and away the slower skier, had the audacity to overtake Neuner on the last loop and put doubt into the German's mind. It didn't quite turn out for her, but she won a lot of hearts that day. And uh, there'll be big cheers if Berger can do well in this stadium again today Krustaleva eight minutes already on the clock Hen Henkel's time has come and gone Bex uh, is safe Dongs is safe this is going to take roughly another 15 seconds to leave the mat Ooh. 
Nice score, five out of five. And so Chris Lever of Kazakhstan, I think, will be relatively happy with that. Ooh, two misses from Henkel, possibly going too hard. She's uh, gone clear on the prone, but missed two in the stand. Now she has to fight for places in the top ten, where she could so easily uh, put herself in a winning position. But unusually for Henkel, she's missed two. The world champion in the sprint event is now highly unlikely to claim the Ostersund World Cup. Svetlana Slepseva, great finish to her season, won the last two races that she entered. Didn't enter the uh, final mass start of the season, got uh, ill after two astonishing races in Oslo, where she won both the sprint and the pursuit. Now, can Neuna join the leaders? Have a look at the time, 7.45. I don't think Henkel's time is in danger, but really, with Henkel missing two, we're looking at Semerenko's time of 8.03, which looks mightily impressive it's fast slightly high right and that was uh, looked to be over to the right I'm guessing slightly with that last shot but uh, there was only one uh, previous round on that target and so Neuner claws back a few seconds with the shooting. She needs to. She's left a little bit of a gap between herself and Semerenko and uh, is even going to be behind... No, she's not. Just ahead of Dong of China. So she goes into fourth place. And, uh, well, when things go down, when all the targets go down for Neuner, she's so used to being in first place that I might suggest that might be uh, a little bit difficult for her to cope with mentally. We'll see. Wipekova. Taking a time. 16.44 the time she has to beat, so all the targets have to go down if she wants to contend with Henkel. This one's tough. Eight, nine seconds holding her breath, did well to get the target down, but uh, thrown away valuable seconds and is now chasing the German. I don't think we're going to see Neupakova threaten. Remember, Henkel's done an extra 300 metres, so is skiing considerably faster. China's Zudong, just round the top end of the stadium. Next time through here, she'll be finishing and going a whole lot faster. Here she is coming in for her second shoot. Went clear on the prone, and the time is good. She's within a minute of Henkel. It should take roughly 45 seconds to clear the targets and get up to the end of the range. Unless, of course, she freezes with the shooting. It's difficult when things are going well. Very strong mentally, the Chinese. Just treat it like a training shoot. Quick for the first shot, and the second, and the third. A little bit of a delay. Fault on the reloading with both four and five. Oh, she threw that away in too much of a rush. She had the top spot begging and uh, it's gone wide. Martina Beck also misses in the standing. What's the time like? 15.59. She's going to be inside Henkel's time despite the fact that she's got a penalty loop to ski and Caddy Wilhelm would have seen both those results and she knows that Henkel and of course, uh, Martina Beck are two of her biggest threats today. Wilhelm, no doubt encouraged by what she's seen so far. Some way off the pace for Istanbul, but uh, the target's gone down. I think she was in lane one and therefore has the shortest.